continuing to follow local efforts to address gun violence. In the city of Albany, police say the rise in crime is coming from illegal handguns. News 10 ABC's Skylar Eagle follows law enforcement's latest effort to get illegal guns off the streets. Albany police tell me they've seen a 26% increase in the number of reported shots fired so far in 2022, but they've also confiscated more guns than they did this time last year. 75 guns were confiscated this year with the most recent taken on Sunday at the 400 block of 2nd and Quail Streets. That's 50% more than they had this time last year. Part of that increase stems from more calls from people in the area witnessing these shootings. It's because of these callers police are able to respond. Our officers are given the description, uh, you know, given by the caller and uh, not only arrest that person, but get uh, illegal guns off our streets. Most of the guns taken by police are illegal guns. Although it's not clear how people are getting access to these guns, Smith says they're mostly used to end individual conflicts. They're the result of some sort of dispute or some sort of conflict that could have easily been resolved without resorting to gun violence. Despite a rise in the number of reported shots fired, the number of people who have actually been shot is down. Smith says 32 people were shot since January 2022. While this may seem like progress, there's still a lot of work to do. Uh, so we need to find different outlets and work with our community partners, work with the Department of Recreation uh, to find outlets for uh, these young men and women who, for you know whatever reason, are resorting to gun violence or picking up a gun to uh, end their conflicts. Reporting in Albany, Skyler Eagle, News 10, ABC.